Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can get your cable management as clean as your case will allow you to. Even computer builds where one side of the window looks super clean can have really messy bulging back panels. So first of all we're going to need some tools. You'll need some side cutters and some zip ties. And zip ties are dirt cheap so there's no excuse to not use them. So now you have everything ready, there are five simple steps to follow. First of all, we're going to start with the case cable. So these include the front IO, the lights, all that sort of stuff. That's what I always start with because it's always attached to your case. So even if you upgrade later on, you'll still keep that cable management set ready. So start off with taking your front IO panels and your lighting cables and manage them cleanly around the edges of your case so you don't clutter up the main or the middle bit of the motherboard tray. Our second step is the fans. Now I don't use PWM controllers, I don't use any fan controllers, I run everything off of my power supply and this gives me this massive Y splitter, basically a seven way Y splitter. So this took me a lot of work to manage but just make sure again you route those fan cables around the outsides of your case because it will stay with your case for most of the time. Step three is power. So this includes your motherboard power, graphics card power, hard drive or SSD power, maybe the power to fan controllers, all that sort of stuff. That's step three. So again, bundle those cables, but this time make sure you wrap them through the middle because in my case, obviously the power supply is in the top, but with most cases, it'll be in the bottom. So you just wanna make a nice tree and then split it up as lately as you possibly can. Just keep everything bundled together, but make sure you don't have cables overlapping, just have them next to each other. And we're already at step four, which for me is data cables. Now data cables will reduce in numbers thanks to PCIe SSDs and M.2 SSDs and all that sort of good stuff. But for me, I still use an SATA SSD and it's the top layer for me. So make sure those SATA cables are not kinked, make sure they're not twisted and make sure they don't cross with other cables or overlap itself because that way you really get a lot of thickness. And we're already at step five. So step five, pretty simple, just cut the ends off of your zip ties. Now I always do this at the end because basically you can then just not tighten them all the way when you first apply them. So if you have to add another cable through, you don't have to cut the zip tie, put another one around and just waste plastic. So that's step five. And then also when stuff is sticking out too much, just do some finishing touches to make sure all your cables are as close to that motherboard tray as you can possibly get them so that the side panel goes on very easily. So there you have it guys, five steps on how to make the back of your motherboard tray look as clean as the main chamber. Now, in my case, and this is pun intended, this is a worst case scenario, you know, the power supply is on top, all the cables have to go down and through each other, and there's basically not a single zip tie hook on here. Now you can buy these adhesive hoops for your zip ties to go through, but I really wanted more of a challenge, and I used only holes and little cutouts to use these zip ties. Now my case does not have a single stamped out zip tie hook, so this is basically a worst case scenario and I think I still did okay. The back panel goes on very easily. Um, there's no rubbing, there's no rattling and it's very secure for when you're shipping the case so that cables don't get undone. So guys, if you like this video, please press that like button and if you didn't, there's the subscribe button for when I make a video that you do like. Now, if you want to follow me or the channel even more, we have Facebook, Twitter, and for those who want to support the channel, there is Patreon or direct paypal.me. For now though, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.